Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, P game. Um, the more I look at this and evaluate the situation with Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder, more and more, Tyson Fury is just showing me, in my personal opinion, he has no plans on ever rematching Deontay Wilder. All this shit about he beat Deontay Wilder 10 out of 12 rounds is bullshit. I'm telling you, Tyson Fury does not believe in his heart of hearts that he beat Deontay Wilder. You know, otherwise, he would run it back. And like I said, I'm going to get to the fans in a minute. It's funny. I remember back in the day. Now, social media wasn't what it is now, where it's really important and matters tremendously in everyday society. But I remember when Roy Jones Jr., barely beat Antonio Tarver in the first fight now. Roy Jones Jr. could have moved on and just said, hey, I already beat the dude and I'm going another direction. But some people put pressure on Roy Jones Jr. to run it back with Tarver. And, you know, y'all know what happened in the second fight. Roy Jones Jr. was knocked out, I think, in the second or third round. Can't remember, but Roy Jones Jr. got, got stopped. And then he fought him a third time and then you know, he um, lost the third fight. So, that's what I'm saying. Then you get Tyson Fury that do this weak move and goes to ESPN when a rematch could have been made as easy as hell. And then you get people trying to justify Tyson Fury going to ESPN saying that was a power move because he, he didn't get robbed. You know, like I said, um, at the end of the day, if Tyson Fury thought he won that fight, he would have ran it back. He is petrified of Deontay Wilder. He doesn't he doesn't want to go through that again. So for the people that, you know, played themselves saying that on uh saying Deontay Wilder wouldn't want to go through this again, they just basically played themselves, you know. And the funny thing is to see this is where you you catch the fans and these bogus ass other YouTube channels. Now, two years ago, you had these same idiots, these fake YouTube channels, calling out Andre Ward when he said he was going to retire and all this type of shit. You know, after he got a close decision against Sergey Kovalov, a lot of people thought that Sergey Kovalov won the first fight. I thought Andre Ward won the first fight, okay? But nevertheless, you had people attacking Andre Ward. You know who's supposed to be Andre Ward fans now, but you know they fake as fuck. But you had people attacking Andre Ward, making all these videos, saying Andre Ward is a coward. He 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 He's scared of Sergey Kovalov. He ain't a real man if he don't run it back. But now here's the, the exact same situation where you have a controversial draw where nobody lost, but people say they believe Tyson Fury won the fight. But then the dude that's willing to give him a rematch, which is Deontay Wilder, you got Tyson Fury that don't want to run it back. And you hearing all these stipulations and this fake shit on why a rematch can't happen. Why do you need a tune up before you go into a rematch when you, Already then, already then came back and fought two previous times. You know where I'm going with this. There ain't no videos calling Tyson Fury a coward and that type of shit. And this is why I don't like talking to these fake ass boxing fans. Because a lot of y'all fake. Y'all ain't boxing fans. Y'all really racist, man. And that's all it come down to. That Where's all the videos pressuring Tyson Fury to take a rematch? Where are those videos at? It ain't too many. But then people are mad at me because I'm pointing out the real double standards, the real hypocrites, the real frauds, the real racists, the real white supremacists, the real fake boxing fans, the real coon channels on here who making excuses for Tyson Fury's behavior. Get your motherfucking ass in the ring with Wilder, man. Stop fucking making excuses. You making yourself look bad. But see, that's the thing. The media defends this type of shit because it's Tyson Fury, a white guy. 
Like I said, there ain't been too many videos putting pressure on Tyson Fury to run it back, but they sure did it to Andre Ward. Tyson Fury is behaving like a coward, and that's all it come down to. And people got to say this shit. Like I keep saying before, man, I told you, my man, I'm not sugarcoating my channel, man, because I want to make other people feel comfortable and shit because they want me to say certain type of shit and use certain type of words and shit. But now nah, I'm not not using certain type of words. I'm going to use the words that I need fit to use that fit the conversation, that fit what I'm talking about. And right now, Tyson Fury is being a coward. Like I said, as far as you fake ass boxing fans, y'all fake too. Because like I said, y'all trying to protect him. Y'all ain't making no videos saying, hey, fight Deontay Wilder instantly. This is how you know Tyson Fury don't believe he won that fight. He believes he survived Deontay Wilder. So that's just the bottom line, man. And it need to be said because this shit be pissing me off, man. These motherfuckers get on here talking this shit and be trying to talk about other motherfuckers, but then they trying to justify a dude blatantly ducking somebody for a rematch. And this is the reason why boxing is in the state that it's in now because of the fans and be, the fake fans and these and these boxers. So that's all I have to say about that shit, man. I'm out.